Uh, so have a look at this. Uh, first impression of this. First impression of this is that this is something wrong in the gastric antrum, and that is for sure a little bit of um, uh, fibrin deposition on the right associated with a depression. So, of course, not not uh, a positive blink. Yeah, for sure. My first impression is there's something going on here in the um, well. What is it in the what? Well, come back. It is uh, the on the. Nine o'clock now is the greater curve, the three o'clock is the lesser curve, so it's kind of at the junction between the two, um, posteriorly. So that's posterior, that's anterior. Uh, and we come round here into an, ast an anastomosis, actually, of no pylorus and then into here. So patient has already had gastric surgery um, for a gastric ulcer. Okay, so the question is, well, what is this? Um, and we therefore going to apply a bit of a deconstructed approach. So we already have our idea in white light that this is uh, maybe an ulcer. Um, I'll bring in Xander Smith, one of my colleagues from UZ Ghent. Um, I mean, what are your thoughts about what this is and why? Well, indeed, I yeah, think it's an ulcer. It, it, it looks a bit depressed. It is a white uh, button base of the, of the lesion as it may. Um, if you insufflate more, you see that the edges are a bit raised. Um, it is like kind of an asymmetric ulcer. If you look closely, uh, I had the advantage that I had a bit of a uh, pre -look. assessment. Pre -look. You just said ulcer, so mm -hmm. look, I think you're probably partly right with that, in my opinion. Like There is for sure um, a depression. I guess that's part of an ulcer, but the second part of an ulcer is that the base is completely fibrotic, right? Well, there is no submucosa. And I'm just not convinced that that's the case here. Why not? I'm not convinced that the um, that this is not just a fibrin coating on, a, um, on, on this lesion. But anyway, we'll come back to that. So the question is, is this lesion in the muscle there? Uh, what do you think, just observing the peristalsis from here? I thought seeing the peristalsis previously that there is still some normal muscle movement, however, Mm. Uh, it stays a bit dish shaped. Mm, so not convinced. I think the peristalsis is entirely, um, yeah, yeah, showing that this is not involving the muscle there. But of course, we'll also learn more if we were to try to lift it. Um, so we could use virtual chromoscopy. We could first start with near focus. You start to see there is some sort of vascular pattern here, uh, and then let's go virtual chromoscopy. Uh, so it's not so easy. We may can maybe able to retroflex. So, okay, you might say to me, well, uh, I say to you first, is that the pattern of a standard ulcer? No. No. Well, what's the difference between that and a standard ulcer? Well, a standard ulcer has the microvasculature is, is absent. Right. I think that's very, very important. So that's the, the thing for me which is saying to me this is not um, complete ulceration. And that is complete fibre on the base of this, that this is... Um, the raised edges of a hypertrophic reaction on a, in my view, early gastric cancer, um, and then at the base, uh, a not maintained, definitely not, vascular pattern, um, which we should investigate further. How could we investigate it further? Well, now <coughs> we're doing the imaging, endoscopic imaging, like we focus mm -hmm. on the IVLI. Um, we could do an US to see we could, yeah. whether the muscle is in fear. We think it's not, but and have a more uh, um, thorough look via Okay, what else could we do? US. And, yeah, start doing a tunnel, tunneling underneath. Yeah, I think all those things are very important, but what about imaging? What, could we do something else with the imaging? Um, I agree with everything you said about the US, which has happened here, and uh, also um, about tunneling, but, but about the imaging, imaging-wise, because this is about endoscopic imaging. Yeah. Can we do something else? You can do actual dye-based uh, chromo, <laughs> but I don't think this will... What about trying to wash this fibre off? Do you think that will work? You can try, and you can see if you can have a more clear image. Do you think this will help if we could wash the fibre off? I think you will... Do you have the impression here that this is fibre and attached yeah. to the surface of this, right? You see it's kind of moving. Yeah, in the six. In the six, it's moving also in the... Like, it's peeling off there, probably. So, and there is an area I think I saw up here maybe where it's not adherent. Um, maybe the eye of faith is less of it up at the 12 or up at the 1, 2 o'clock now. Uh, and let's have more power on the water jet. So you risk damaging the lesion with this, but we already did some nice images. So 
You can uh, just take a photo like this. Okay. And go as much as we can. So look, look at this, right? It's peeling here. Oh, there we go. Uh, but you get this, right? So you must go closer and not get the thing in the way. It can make a little tunnel under the fibrin. But this always happens, of course, when when you have the fibrin that it's bleeding on the surface. There we go. Now we get a beautiful look at the vascular pan. What do you think? Still. So, to first question. Less or more concerning than your first impression? I would say equal. Okay, but if your first impression was that there was a big ulcer here, mm -hmm. less, right? Yeah. Because, yeah, if, you had a, if this was a barn door cancer with a big ulcer in it, then this is not for um, anything, right? But now looking at this, what is your impression of this? That, again, another argument to say it's not deeper, deeply invasive. So what, what argument? Like, what do you see? Vascular pattern and vascular the is, is well, it's now more present. You can see it more. It's more. It is unstructured, but more to the structure. So yeah. So you're sitting in the middle zone. Uh, if we were talking JNet, we might say two B. It's a bit JNet, isn't it? Like looking at it like this. But anyway, okay. JNet's not for the stomach. No. Not yet, anyway. Uh, so this is a regular, regular pattern. Now that's all we're going to say, and I think that's very useful because that means for me that this is a target for endoscopic resection. And if we remove this fiber, and if we can remove it completely, uh, then maybe, I don't think we'll struggle. I mean, we could take a biopsy forcep and remove it, but I think we've made the point, right, that there is no need to do that. Um, I think that this is just adherent fiber on the surface of an early gastric cancer. So that's what an early gastric cancer looks like. Um, you should interrogate it like that. Uh, if you are, Zander, in a peripheral hospital, um, and you just detect something like that, what should, what should people do? What, what message would, would you like to give to people out there who have seen something like this? Pictures, pictures, pictures. In yes. this case, pictures are more important than biopsies. So what sort of pictures? So one, like a nice overview picture like this, which tells us the location, right? We can easily see the location from this. Uh, it's not the world's best picture, but okay, like this maybe is even better because it's in, uh, in the thing. What else? Up close? Uh, overview up close, maybe a retrovision and see if you can do a retro on it. Yeah, um, okay. And then biopsy where? Um, Mark Kieran, I should be. If you biopsy, here in this case, I want to take biopsies more of like the central part, but also more on the edge, because there is a risk, you run a risk that if you take a biopsy from the central part, you only have necrosis. Uh, well, I don't think in this case. So if you're doing a, norm, a gastric ulcer with depth, yeah. I think I agree with you. So if you have a big, deep, cratered gastric ulcer, which this is not, uh, then you should take biopsies from here, right? This yeah. kind of zone. Yeah. In this case, for sure you want biopsies from here because this is the zone which is going to give you high grade, uh, I would suggest probably early submucosal invasive cancer in this case. Yeah. All right, uh, so great, uh, great that you're watching this. Uh, another upper GI lesion assessment from Geeks. I hope that you will try to discover more on the website. The search function is now getting uh, a bit mature, so you can go looking for these uh, and use the tags on this one um, to go find others. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, so here we are, and just to show you what it looks like under here, because we removed this thing, and we'll show you the specimen in a minute. Uh, yeah, it's not in the muscle, I think. Um, so something can be very, very, um, yeah, it can be not so super clear whether the muscle is involved or not. Um, there was no problem doing the CSD, like completely submucosal dissection, no issue at all. So I think, um, this they can be deceptive these things um, you can think oh yeah it's ulcerated it's not so I would always discuss them with your local interventional endoscopist um, before you get so concerned about these things of course you need to stage them that's very important but uh, yeah apart from that uh, that's what we wanted to show you and finally we'll just show you uh, the specimen so here is the specimen, and you can see that lesion uh, bang in the center. So just to prove to you we didn't resect a random bit of stomach, we resected it. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one.